Miss Mulea gave us an assignment of reading five storybooks in a week. And when we reopen school, there will be a quiz based on those books. And those who fail the quiz will have to repeat the semester. So you are part of this too, Nuru? No. That means we need to set a smart goal as fast as possible. But we're gonna need a pen and paper because, you see, goals tend to be more efficient if they are written down. We're good, good, to, good go. to go! Alright, so let's start with the letter S, which is a short form of specific. Here you must say your goal clearly in a few words. Okay, so, the specific for our goal is to read five storybooks. You're right, Kibena, but to make it more specific, could say exactly which books we're going to read. Are we going to read any five storybooks or do we have any specific books? Oh, I see your point. That means our specific is reading the five storybooks that Miss Mlea asked us to. Yeah, now let's jump to the next letter, letter M, which is a short form for measurable. Here you need to set a measurement for your goal. The measurement can be amount. So reaching that measurement means your goal is achieved. Aha! Uh -huh. So, measurable for our goal is five books, right? Yeah, money. But you see, the books are different in length. Some books just have 30 pages, others have less or more. So you could add up the total number of pages of all five books and make it our goal measurement. That will also help us to know how many pages we need to read to achieve our goal on time. The book I'm holding has 30 pages. Mine has 26 pages. This one has 30 pages. Mine has 20 pages. Nuru, count this one. It has 20 pages too. So, it's 30 plus 26 plus 30 plus 20 plus 20. The answer is 126. Wow, are we supposed to read 126 pages? Yeah, so we're off to the next letter which is A, a short form for achievable. Here you must test if you've got what it takes to achieve your goal. For example, in our goal of reading five storybooks, we must make sure we have all the books that we need to read, or that they are written in a language that we can read, and other things like that. Aha, got you. That's why we were facing so many challenges, because our goal was not smart. Imagine we didn't even have enough books for all of us to read. That's it, Kiduchu. Can we move to the next letter now, which is R, as a short form for relevant. And here, you must say why you think your goal is important, because the goal needs to matter. Our goal is important because we're going to have a quiz based on these books. And Ms. Umlea told us that if we want to be in the upper class next year, we must read these books. And we all want to be in the upper class next year. Great. So let's finish with the letter T which stands for time bound. Here you must set a deadline for your goal. You need to write down when you want to achieve your goal. School reopens in seven days. That means we need to achieve our goal before Monday, which is equal to seven days from today. Great, and that's the smart goal approach that's helped me to achieve my goal of buying this bike. And it's about to help us achieve our goal of reading five storybooks in a week. Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, read, play, and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.